Parker Kid here with a new video tips about tape measures talking about uh, what they're used for how it works what to look in tape measures and one well anything I know now as you see every, all the tape measures I got here are Stanley Stanley I think yeah Stanley were the first ever company to make these like these tape measures you can yeah, you can uh, search on YouTube or search on their website or whatever there's other companies that does that makes tape measures you know some are different or whatever but here we're gonna go over the years these are Stanley lever locks these are kinda old this is 16 feet. That means you again you can go all the way to 16 feet. It's a 25 feet. Now this the only thing you know power lock. There's no I don't think there's anything any features. It's just that this right here is this is a lock. So let's say I extend it and it comes back right. Well let's say I extend it and put down the lock and it will stay in position. Now every normal tape measure does this like this one. And this one that I love and always use. And it's, well, there's there's many kinds that many kinds of tape measures. And again, I, here's one lever lock works differently. And these are the new newest that they're taking out in the in the market. Now, as you see right here, the the logo of Stanley. This is the old version of old logo of Stanley, and now they brought it with their new logo. Hey, that's what. See, here's another one that has the same kind of logo. They, these two are like you know kind of new. This one, these three are kind of old. Now, again, most most tape measures have you know lever lock but they also ha always have a hook on there these hooks see here's one here's again here's one the lever lock has one and this one has one now these are all the tape measures I got right now uh, I don't use all these like three these three I don't use this I only use these two um, you can hear that it's shaking inside it's, it's a that means it's about to go bad. It's not going to work anymore. There's a crack right there. And it still works fine. It's just... I don't know when it's going to blow up or mess up or something like that. Now, I love these st small ones. For a certain reason. They're, they're flexible. And that is because this blade is thin. This is what they call the part of the me tape measure. The blade. This is some thin metal I don't know if it's steel aluminum but it's thin and they printed on this yellow these yellow markings and this right here is the hook you see how it rattles that's to measure inside inside things or outside of things now some people believe that if this happens to a tape measure it's broken it's not gonna be a hundred percent um accurate well yeah to some things but to some other things they're not I don't know well most all these do this see it rattles and these old ones do too you see the blade is kind of dirty kind of messed up there too now some of these tape measure have just like plastic wrapping or something to feel comfortable in your hands or so if it falls it breaks or something many people use these tape measures either it's from different brand but they use tape measures they use most a lot of people use tape measures people indoor construction welding or you know all all, all making things busy making things business even you know
who make um, clothes use use some uh, measuring tool. Probably not a tape measure, but some measuring tool. Um, now again, the reason why I love these are they're flexible. See that? I can flex it like that. Now let's see about this this 25. The blade is like one inch thick. Thick. Now can it do that? Almost, but not good enough. Now, this is I. I picked up this trick from um, Jimmy the Resto. Well, he was saying that he was trying. He has a big shop, and he says that he has to buy a whole bunch of. He buys a whole bunch of tape measures because he can't find none in his shop. And so he made like a belt attachment. Well, um. Um, tape measure holder that can hold his tape measure on his you know on his belt and the only thing he needs to do is not take it out of the pocket or whatever he just pulls this uh, on it only come it doesn't work on lever lock you he pulls this out and just bends it so it can measure I'll show that on the um, miter saw or something like that now you see tape measure goes from now this is the beginning of it and it says right there one it's one inch and some most tape measure does this if it goes to 12 it'll say one feet and it'll go to let's say 24 two feet keep on going is gonna go to do the same thing to 36 and so on and so on and Now there's some things I don't still don't know about the tape measure as you see right here. Oh, I did not realize this. You see how beginning of it's one in one, two, three, four, five, six inches and so on and gets to twelve. Now as you see at thirteen it says one inch. So you can, it doesn't have to be like you know thirteen if you just like and end the piece lining up with twelve. And it says like 13. It's like thick as 13. That means one inch. And it keeps on doing this, so on, so on. You see, 24 starts with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then that's 12, 1 feet. So on and so on. I think they did that in their old tape measures. So they still do it. The lever lock. They'll do it. Now I'm gonna show a trick again that I learned that I learned from Jimmy the Resta on the miter saw. Now again I'm using this thin one because I think it only works for this, but you can I think you can also use those thick ones. But you know how you're in a well, you know how people like trying to cut up things or like trying to measure oh well, make a line like you know six inches and then put it back in your pocket or belt or whatever some people don't know that there's a, there's sometimes a reason why this hook is there now only a, not many people know this but I don't I don't have a shorts or pants that has belt right now but I do I do have a pocket and you see how it hooks in there now you see my hands are free right now I'm gonna go to my tape measure take out the tip of it and just bent it a bent it a little bit where it hooks and I can measure all like 10 inches I put the line I now this is the real this is the reason why this is so good I let my hands go and I can cut real fast and it's done now let's say I got another piece right here just do it real quick get my pencil line it up put down my pencil let go of my hands and just cut it and there it goes you don't have to oh Put a marking, or put the put the lock, or whatever. No, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Now, you know, you see, I can measure like that. I can measure this way, or I can measure that way. But you just have to know that the numbers are upside down, but they're still gonna line up. I I can put this all the way over there. And I can let go and it's going to come right back. Now, 
Sometimes this blade can cut you, you know, this part of the pay manager. I don't think it can, but you still have to be cautious about it. Now you see it, my tape measure is reaching over there, if you can see. And I just let it go, and it comes right back. Now, this is the, you don't have to actually buy this. There's many small 12 inch like this size that you can still use. Now, they sell big ones at Lowe's or Home Depot. And they, smell, they sell these small ones at probably Walmart. But if you're just, you know, you don't want to spend a lot of money, just buy a small one. And look at the packaging description of what this tool actually does because most tape measures are kind of different. There's some for, like, you know, construction or uh, cabinet, cabinet making or something like that. You just want to make sure which, what do you want in your tape measure. See, I can measure that. Real easy. I just have to hook it on on a piece of wood or something. I'm measuring that. Now, if you're gonna do this trick, you know, again, you're gonna need a tape measure that's gonna need a hook on it. Not bad hook, but you know, you can put it on your belt, either as I said, your pocket. But you know, doing this is time wasting. And if you wanna. Do it fast, you know. Again, use the trick. You can spread this, spread this tip to you know construction workers, because they they always have it in their bag or whatever. They have a hook for it. Yeah, sometimes they're gonna need the thick ones because the thick ones are good for a construction worker for a reason. Now, as you see how this is floating. Now you see how it's going down as I extend it. That's not good for construction working. This is not the tape measure you need to work use for construction. Now, when this is far out and it's standing up, this is called stand out. What that means is that the more let's I'm at 24 feet, 24 feet, and it's still up in the air. Now, if I keep on going to one feet. To another feet, thirty uh, three feet, it's kind of bending down. Now, if I go to four feet, it's bending down. Is you see, it's kind of bending right there, and it's going down. Now, this again, this is not good for construction because there's some tape measures that can go all the way to ten feet and it'll be in the air. That's what again, that's what's called stand out. That's what you need when you're in one place and need to measure from one side to where you are. Um, that that's the reason. If you need any more help about tape measures, contact me on the description. Uh, for anything else, Waterworker Kid signing out.